Valencia County citizens are also getting involved in crime fighting. Home burglaries are such a big problem there that the sheriff's deputies are overwhelmed. So Kim Vias reports they have asked civilians for help. I got tired of going to house to house, you know, and seeing this devastation. Deputy Emily Montoya has been busy the last few months responding to burglary reports from hardworking people who've been ripped off. We have these bozos who are coming in and stealing equipment, killing their calves, taking personal items from them. They've worked so hard for it. It's a big area to cover for just a few deputies per shift. That's why they're now turning to community members for help. People like Ron Chavez. It's something that just gets to you after a while. You have to do it. You know, I feel like a responsibility to the community. Chavez had some of his equipment, even a motorcycle stolen. He's called when there's a suspicious vehicle or person, has even written down license plate numbers. I hope it's been an encouragement to other people. Sure. Um, I think everyone should take some sort of role in, in helping uh, preserve the peace in their community. Deputy Montoya says others have. She now has a good group of people keeping an eye out for others. This community policing has already made an impact. They went from a couple dozen burglaries a day to maybe two or three a day. The Sheriff's Department says more importantly, many of these thieves are now behind bars. I followed up some leads that some the our citizens gave me, and I took those leads I, with all the information I had gathered, took it to the detectives, they acted on it, and we were able to make some good arrests. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13. The Sheriff's Department says the majority of the burglaries are happening in the middle of the day.